ever like get a brand new notebook and you just, I don't know, you yeah. get that feeling like uh, the possibilities. Totally, like a fresh start. It's like a fresh start. Yeah, just waiting for like all your thoughts, you know. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of what we're diving into today is how that like simple act, pen and paper, right. can be a total game changer, especially when it comes to, you know, a journey to sobriety. Yeah. Um, we've got Lestallion's 50 sobriety journal prompts. Okay. And, and let me tell you, these aren't these aren't your grandma's journal entries. You can say that again. These are these are different, right? Absolutely. Yeah, they're carefully, they're very intentionally crafted. Okay. To kind of push past just like logging the day, right? Right. They're designed to spark those aha moments. Yep. You know, that deeper self-reflection and in recovery, that's that's huge. That's so important. It's huge. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And it's like instead of it saying, you know, what did you eat today? Right. It's more like Describe a moment you felt truly grateful for your sobriety. Like yeah, how often are we are we really honing in on that? Yeah, that's so key. That gratitude, you know. That's where the magic happens. It really yeah. is. Because clinically speaking, gratitude, it's like rewiring your brain. Wow. It shifts your focus from what you feel like you're missing out on right. to what you're gaining from this whole thing, right. you know? And it taps into the reward system. Okay. Which makes sobriety actually, you know, feel rewarding. So you're you're basically training your brain to find the joy in the journey itself. Exactly. That's a great way to put it. Yeah. Wow. That's amazing. It's not just these like you know, these fleeting feelings, this yeah. kind of journaling. I mean, this has real therapeutic benefits i mean yep. increased self-awareness um better emotional regulation mm. clearer goal setting right all essential for lasting change right right yeah those are those are all key mm -hmm. um and there's this other one that's in the daily reflection section okay. that I, I really love um it asks what's one thing you learned about yourself today that you didn't know before hmm like Talk about, you know, a crash course in self-discovery, you know? It's like holding up a mirror yeah. in your own patterns, you know? Okay. You start to see those, like yeah. your triggers, like yeah. how you react to things, the subtle ways you might be self-sabotaging. And that awareness, I mean, that's really where the work begins. Right. And and the cool thing is, like, you don't need a therapist in the room right. to get those benefits, you know? It's yeah. like having this direct line yeah. to, to the wisest part of yourself, you know? It's true. And it's not, I mean, it's not just for people in, you know, in recovery programs or anything. I mean, yeah. anybody who's looking to grow. Right. Understand themselves better. Of I mean, they can benefit from this, this kind of guided self-reflection. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and, you know, I don't want to gloss over the fact that, that sobriety, it's, it's not always, you know. Oh, absolutely not. Smooth sailing. Right. No, there are going to be ups and downs. There are ups and downs. Be sure. And and that's where I think this source gets really interesting. Absolutely. Yeah, Lestallion actually dedicates a whole section to managing emotions. Okay. And this is where we see those prompts kind of really digging into the nitty gritty. Right. Yeah. And there's one, um, it asks, what are some triggers that make you feel stressed or anxious? Mm -hmm. How do you manage them now? And like... That one, when I read that, it, it kind of stopped me in my tracks. Yeah. Because it's it's like, you know, it's shining a spotlight on those hidden anxieties. Right. That we, we often, you know, we try to ignore or, or... We push them down. Push them down, yeah. Yeah, and that's, I mean, that's not just a journaling prompt. I mean, that is that is like straight out of cognitive behavioral therapy. Wow. Okay. CBT. Okay. You're identifying those triggers. Right. You're understanding your reactions to them. And yeah. then you're brainstorming healthier coping mechanisms. Right. I mean, it's it's really powerful stuff. And even the act of writing it all down, it's yeah. it, it's almost like you're externalizing those emotions. Mm -hmm. Giving them less power over you. Yeah. Yeah. Journaling in, in itself, it can be incredibly calming. Right. It provides a sense of control. It's yeah. a, a way to process those feelings without judgment. Right. Right. You know? Yeah, totally. Yeah. It's like it's almost like that feeling when you finally clean out like a really messy closet. Oh, yeah. And you're like, ah. Totally. Just like this huge sense of relief. Yeah, that's a great analogy. And clarity, you know. It's like with journaling, especially in the context of sobriety, it's like we're clearing out that mental clutter. Right. Creating space for, for something new. And speaking of something new, I was, I was really struck by how much this source focuses on the future. Mm -hmm. It's not just about like okay, getting sober, it's like right. building the life that you want. Absolutely. You know, like you, you've you always, like, 
envisioned. Yeah, you hit on a really crucial point, which is sobriety isn't like an end point. Right. It's more like a launch pad. Right. And these prompts really drive that home. They yeah. they encourage you to think about your values, your dreams, the legacy you want to build. I mean, wow. it's it's huge. And there's there's one prompt in particular that really caught my eye. Okay. Um, it says, imagine your life five years from now. How has sobriety shaped your journey? Wow. Like, yeah. That's such a such a powerful exercise. It really is. And it's not just wishful thinking either. It's like there's there's actually this concept. It's called future self visualization. Yeah. And when you visualize that future self, like that successful, thriving version of you, right. it can actually rewire your brain. Wow. It strengthens your commitment to your goals and it makes those day to day choices a little bit easier. So it's like you're you're giving your brain like a sneak peek. Yeah. You get of the incredible future that awaits, you know. Exactly. Yeah. When you vividly imagine that future, yeah. your brain actually starts building the neural pathways to get you there. Wow. It's it's literally like you're creating a mental roadmap. That's amazing. To success. And you know what it, it reminds me of another prompt in this section that asks, what is one thing you're willing to sacrifice today to have that incredible future five years from now? Hmm. Oh, man, that that one really makes you think about priorities. It does. It shifts your perspective right. from like short term gratification well, to right. long term fulfillment. Yeah. And suddenly, you know, that extra hour of sleep, that that healthy meal. Right. Those choices that support your sobriety, they they become investments right. in that future self that you're creating. Yeah. It's almost like you're making promises mm. to that future version of yourself, you know. Right. Exactly. That you're That you're more likely to keep. Exactly. In this source, I mean, it, it doesn't shy away from the bigger picture either. Like wow. there's a whole section on leaving a legacy. Yeah. There's there's like one prompt that says, reflect on how you want to be remembered. Mm -hmm. How does sobriety help you live that legacy? Wow. That's that's powerful. It is. It connects your actions today to a larger purpose. Mm -hmm. You know, you're not just doing this for you. Right. You're doing it for your family, your community, even like future generations. I mean, wow, that's that's incredibly motivating. It is. It, it reminds me of that quote. It's like the best stories are lived, not told, you know. Oh. <laughs> and I feel like this source is encouraging us to like to write that story. Mm -hmm. You know, one one journal entry at a time. One day at a time. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. It's like we're not it's not just a journal, right? It's like you're crafting a whole new narrative. Mhm. Mm yeah, and that's that's a powerful idea. For your though. life. Yeah. Especially for for anybody on that that sobriety journey, you know? Yeah. It's about reclaiming your story, you know. Right. Rewriting it with intention. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And it's and you know, it's it's so easy to get caught up. Oh, for sure. In the day to day. Yeah. Right? The challenges, the cravings, yeah. the triggers, all that. But this source, it really it reminds us to kind of like zoom out a little bit. Right. You know, remember remember why we, we started this whole thing in the first place. Yeah. Yeah. It's about celebrating the wins no matter how small. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. And there's a whole section in here. It's reflecting on progress. Okay. And I, I think this is huge because it's so easy, especially like, you know, with this kind of stuff. Yeah. It's so easy to be hard on ourselves. Oh, totally. You know what I mean? Yeah. To focus on the slip ups and all that. But right. but taking the time to actually like acknowledge how far we've come, that's that's huge. Huge. Yeah. I mean, our our brains naturally have what's called a negativity bias. Okay. We're 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 wired to remember the bad stuff more than the good. Oh wow. Right. Yeah. So journaling can really help counter that. Right. Because you're creating this tangible record but, of but, your successes what, big and small it's like building a highlight reel of your sobriety you know exactly yeah and and i love this this prompt in this section it says describe a recent achievement in your sobriety mm. how did it make you feel yeah it's like yeah let's let's celebrate that let's actually like totally. soak in that feeling of accomplishment because that feeling you know that sense of pride and self-efficacy i mean that's that's powerful fuel yeah. for the journey ahead. Right. And, you know, it's it's almost like this source is is kind of giving you permission to be proud of yourself, yeah. you know, yeah. to to acknowledge your own strength. Yeah. Which which we could all use a little bit more of. Oh, absolutely. We, we all need that. <laughs> yeah. So as we, you know, kind of start to wrap up our, our deep dive here okay. into Lestallion's um, 50 sobriety journal prompts, mm -hmm. what's the what's the one thing that 
that you hope our listeners kind of take away from this? I think for me, it's it's the the simple yet really profound power of self-reflection. Mm. You know, it's it's so easy to kind of go through life on autopilot. Right. But these prompts, they they invite us to pause, listen to that inner voice and really yeah. get to know ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's like that quote. It's like the unexamined life is not worth living or whatever. Mm -hmm. And and this source is it's giving us the tools to examine our lives, yes. you know, to really understand our motivations or desires and to ultimately like yeah. create a life that that feels, you know, authentically ours. Beautifully said. Yeah. And whether, you know, whether you're in recovery or you're exploring sobriety or just, you know, even just seeking personal growth. Mm -hmm. I, I really believe that there is something incredibly powerful about just picking up a pen right. and and starting that conversation with yourself. You, yeah. you might be surprised by what you discover. I love that. I love that. Yeah. So to our listener, I mean, grab a notebook, find a quiet corner and, and give it a try. You know, yeah. what are the most important story you ever tell right. is the one that, that you write mm. in your own words, you know, about this incredible life that you're building one day at a time. One day at a time. Love it. Awesome. Well, thanks for, for diving in with me on this. Yeah, this was great. This was great. And... To our listener, we'll, we'll catch you in the next deep dive. Take care.